So hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about synthetic grey versus uh, human grey. Um, there's a few advantages to having having both, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, as you're kind of doing your own regums at the moment, I'm having a lot of. I mean, this is human grey, by the way, quite a high percentage of it. But I'm having quite a lot of um, emails and desperate messages to, uh, from people saying, "Why? How the hell do I get rid of this?" Which is the crinkly synthetic hair that we. Um, put into systems and indeed why on earth do we you know when you can have hair this sort of texture why on earth would you even go for um, synthetic grey so why do we put uh, synthetic grey into hair systems so obviously all the human the human element is the dark hair um, over time what happens to human hair is it loses color in the sunshine so that when we then put a color over the system if we've got human grey then the human grey percentage will be coloured as well and then you'll lose all that lovely grey percentage that of course a lot of you have paid for and what makes the systems look so natural. So the advantage of using synthetic grey as opposed to human grey uh, like in this one is that it doesn't colour. Simple as that. That's the only reason. The, the huge disadvantage is that it does go like this so all crinkly. So I'm going to show you in this video now how to treat that hair. So first you can things first, over. let's fill up the kettle with water. Boil it up. So the kettle's coming to the boil now. The more crinkly the hair is, the more um, hotter you need it to be. So just wait for the kettle to click off so it's at boiling point, and then it should be ready. With kettle boiled, we have the hair in the sink. I wouldn't recommend doing this whilst it's on your head, uh, for obvious reasons. This is gonna look totally brutal, but it won't do the system any harm at all. So you just pour the boiling water all over the system whilst it's over a mannequin's head, and all those crinkly greys should start to go straight. Now, because this one's really quite crinkly, um, this is probably going to need a couple of kettles. So then we're going now over with the second one, kettle number three. Uh, I told you it was quite crinkly, this one. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get to number five. Pick this up. Look at the steam coming off of that. So, uh, I've got them both next to each other now, uh, a bit more drier. So let's go to the one that uh, hasn't been treated. As you can see, it's all these little crinkly like pigtails they've just got a mind of their own these gray hairs they just go whichever direction they want but they're very sort of like as i said crinkly and just very very hard to manage whereas we go across to the one that we've actually treated look how lovely and straight those are now there's probably a few little wayward ones still in there but like i said we've done probably about in total i've probably done about three kettles uh worth of hot water over it but uh, if i just brush through the uh the perimeter hair that is going to blend against his own hair so much better than that one. So there you go. That's how to do it, guys. Nice and simple. Looks a bit brutal, but uh, very effective. Do you feel? 